All right, Knights of Apollo, what is up, guys? We've got an excellent video today. We are playing Capital Sparks of Revolution. This is a new city building game that puts a lot of focus on the class struggle. So you manage a city, and at the same time, you have to not only manage the city, but you have to manage the classes and make sure everyone's happy. Now, in this game, somebody's going to get upset at some point it doesn't matter if it's the nobles or the workers or the middle class someone's gonna get upset and it doesn't matter how efficient you are it just this is the nature of the game it's gonna put you between a rock and a hard place and you're gonna have to make decisions that are the lesser of two evils just to keep the city functioning and it's staying afloat and that's why i really love this game and today's video is sponsored it's sponsored by 1c entertainment and catapult Dot gg i want to give them a huge thank you for supporting my channel and sponsoring today's video and making what i do for a living possible so a big big thank you to them and, and by the way guys there is a link down in the video description don't miss out get the game click on that link and check it out it is awesome so again link down in the video description now when you get the game you can play campaign but there's also sandbox and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do sandbox because I want to you know I want to leave the campaign for you guys you know so you can enjoy it I could play it if you guys would like to see it but for now we're gonna do sandbox so let's just jump in and what I'm gonna do is just kind of explain the game as I play I have a pretty basic understanding of the game so uh, yeah let's see starting resources we can do let's do low let's do low starting population low difficulty normal so we've got normals the easiest we're gonna do that <laughs> so let's get started here all right so first thing i'm gonna do is pause it okay because there's a there's a little bit i need to explain so right away you can see uh the war was not kind to our people and uh, a lot of buildings were destroyed but then that's a that's a good thing because what we can do is demolish these and we get resources out of it for example if we click on this house and hit demolish We'll get 600 gold and 100 wood, which obviously wood is going to be vitally important. So the first thing we need to do is get our palace functioning again. Uh, so let's go ahead and just demolish, say about like three buildings. We'll go ahead and press play here. So yeah, that's the first thing we're going to do is get this palace up and running. Now, uh, while that's going down here, you have your happiness of each class. The very top class you have your nobles these are let me pause it because i don't want to miss anything is there's a lot going on uh the first the top class is the nobles this is your rich aristic aristocrats you know they they're just super rich and just you know a lot of them born into it and then you have your middle class which is uh is called the bourgeois which is just basically it's like middle uh high middle they're kind of the entrepreneurs the business owners uh they ta they pay a lot in taxes and then below them you have your workers these are the lower class these are the the um obviously the workers they work the jobs that makes a city function uh, so those are the three classes and obviously there's more workers than the other two classes and so you've got to try to keep them happy if you don't keep them happy the workers tend to riot and will destroy buildings the nobles on the other hand form like secret organizations that will try to bring you down so it's something you gotta gotta watch out for now right now we have 60 people homeless and you can see if you go to the construction menu we'll pause it again uh we've got a couple things we can build here so the first thing we want to do is i don't know what what is the first thing we want to build there's just so many choices well the first thing we want to do is improve the um palace that's that's the first thing we want to do in the meantime, you can see here, okay, here's our resource. Let me explain this really quick. Here's our resources. We have gold, we have grain, we've got food, alcohol, wood, bricks, and steel. Bricks and steel, we'll get we'll get to a little bit later. The fr this is all we want to focus on. Grain, food, alcohol, and wood. That's so important because the grain turns into food and alcohol, which obviously feeds and keeps the alcohol, keeps them happy. 
and uh, something to look forward to. <laughs> I mean, you can't blame them. It's a tough, tough society. Now, we have the train station. Uh, we don't have any farms in this city, so the way we get grain is by uh, having the trains come in and give us, uh, give us grain. Now, we give them gold in return. So the palace has been built. That's perfect. Now that the palace is built, we can pass laws. Now, laws um, give you access to new things uh, that you can build uh, and, uh, you know, new policies and whatnot, obviously. So the first thing we're going to focus on is getting our economy rolling. So taxation is going to be key here. So we're going to go ahead and sign the Taxation Act. And taxes are the key aspect of the state and budget. And then, like always, the government is trying to steal from the business whenever. So, oh, my God. The businessman. Oh, the businessman. Okay. So, now that, that we've got that done, the way I'm going to organize my town here is uh, I'm going to build kind of like the slums over here. And then I'm going to build the rich people over here. And then kind of in the middle here and then the middle over here are going to be mutual buildings like hospitals, graveyard, anything like that. So let's, let's go ahead and press play again. So uh, the first thing we need to do is create some jobs and uh, generate some wood. And to do that, we need to build a sawmill, but we don't have enough gold. So we need to demolish, demolish, <laughs> demolish some buildings here. We're just going to wait for the railroad, though. And then once that's done, we are going to build our sawmill, which is going to give uh, some workers some, some jobs so they start generating some money. And um, let's see. What else do we have? A minute. Oh, a tax department. Oh, we probably want to build that, too. Okay. Let's just demolish these buildings. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it, there's, there's a set number. See, max amount 800. You can't go past that. So, um you will eventually build a warehouse uh, but for now we're okay we're okay and here we go the railroad is functioning now oh grain is here baby grain is here okay so let's build let's hurry up and build our sawmill uh we'll put this kind of uh, kind of out there now currently there's no roads connecting to it so we're gonna go ahead and build some roads this is probably not the most efficient way because it does cost gold. We'll just put that there and then boop. So now it's connected to a road so people can get to it. Go ahead and dismantle that. And then over here, we need to build the tax department. We're, we're going to build that near the rich people. <laughs> really, I should be taxing them. Happiness is pretty good. 90, 89, 89. I think the next thing we need to do is build food. Buildings can function properly only when they are connected to the road to the central square. Yes, that is true. Okay, thank you, game. Thank you. So, yeah, you got to make sure you're connected to a road or they won't function, right? So, uh, we got that understood. Um, the next thing we need to do is focus on food. So, we want the peg house. It's just where uh, they get food. So, we'll build that... Uh, We'll build this on the road here and then they also need well we'll get to well i guess we could build an ale house that's also for um workers so we'll put that there so that's that's gonna help the lower class but now we need to help the higher class is okay so we'll demolish that and then to do that they they've got a, a bistro and a cab cabaret cabaret um, so we need to, we need, basically this is entertainment and drinks and this is also food. So we need to build both of these to just kind of balance it out. Oh wait, cancel. All right, press play. There we go. So yes, build, build, build. The workers, oh, everyone's getting happier and happier. This is really good. Here, we'll fast forward a little bit. Um, boop, boop, boop. There we go. Boom. Now, <laughs> there's also like different times in the day where they have a work shift they have rest time and then they have free time rest time is like sleeping if i'm not if i'm not mistaken okay and so we're gonna get rid of this stuff so we can build what the richy people need we'll build that and then they'll get them some entertainment so 
put that there some dancers yeah look at there's a look at this when you zoom in it's a <laughs> got like a pinup dancer that's awesome uh, okay so the next thing we need to solve is homelessness okay we need now we got some jobs we got some food and drink and entertainment we got to build some homes got to build some homes so we will um keep demolishing here we'll just kind of build homes wherever so let's go to residence wood house is for the poor so we will build houses for the poor uh, honestly you know what i know this is not again financially like the most efficient thing but i'm gonna build the neighborhood here i i could easily already build on the road but hey we gotta make it look nice i mean come on so let's build um geez we need more wood let's demolish this so we can find some wood pieces here and there to uh get us more wood all right, we're currently not making any money. Oof. Okay, we definitely... Oh, wait. Let's press play. My bad. Let's fast forward here. I think once we get some houses going... There we go. So, that's nice. So, there's now less people homeless. So... <laughs> but there's still 50 people homeless. So, we need to build... I, you know, I, I'm someone who kind of tends to the, the workers first, you know, I'm someone that, that really appreciates the working class, um, the heroes of society for sure. Everybody has their part. Um, now let's go over here and kind of build, we're going to build the neighborhood for the rich people of oh, the road. Go that way. Let's demolish that. So the town is coming together nicely, and everyone is super happy. Uh, trust me, that won't last long <laughs> the further we get into uh, this game. Now, currently, our peg house is making less money, uh, so that's not good. That's not good. Okay, so let's, let's now build a cottage. This is where the rich people stay. Oh, yeah. Good living there. Good living there. Let's see, what do we need? Do we need more money? Yeah, we need more gold. We're currently making plus three gold right now. And the way we're making money is through the alehouse and, and whatnot. Let's see, who's still homeless? None of my workers are homeless. Is everybody perfect? Three houses is perfect. So th none. Of, if we look, no workers are homeless, but we've got 15 middle class and 15 uh, upper class nobles. Look at there. <laughs> They're sleeping. Yeah, I think the nobles are red here. Uh, and the middle class are wearing blue. And then the workers are like, what? A gray or something? Like a brown? Like a dirt brown? <laughs> Alright, uh, so let's... It always reminds me of Monty Python when... Uh, when uh, uh, And I'm gonna, I'm gonna curse here. I know some people... Okay, hold on. We've got some laws here. Okay. So, the way this works is that whenever you make a law, you have to wait like 24 hours to do another law. Anyways, the Monty Python joke is when they're like walking around in the town and they're all dirty. They're like dirty peasants, which is a big medieval myth, whatever. It's it's funny. And then you see like the noble run by and he's like, oh, he's, he's someone's like, and I'm paraphrasing here. He's like, oh, he's a noble. And he's like, how'd you know? He's like, he doesn't have shit all over. He doesn't have dirt all over him. You <laughs> know, I don't know. It's just so funny. All right. And the next thing we want to focus on is most likely medicine. So medicine is going to help the sick in which people can get sick. So we'll go ahead and sign that and that will help us. Um, that'll help us keep the people healthy. So we need to build another cabin, but we don't have enough gold. That is a problem. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's keep going here. We need to get a gold up as soon as possible. Um, we could do that with more. Oh, you know what we need to do? Oh. Oh, I forgot. We need to build a food factory. Yeah, a food factory and an alcohol plant. That's going to actually turn that grain into, <laughs> oops, into food. I am not doing a good job here. So let's delete these houses or can cancel. Let's demolish them, I should say. And uh, this is going to help us get some more gold. 
But eventually those de those old demolished homes are gonna go bye bye. Okay, there we go. Six hundred gold right there. So now with that we can build nothing. We ha we need a little bit more. So let's come on. Boom. There we go. All resources except gold can be accumulated only only to a certain limit. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. We're we're at our max limit of wood, which is fine because we're gonna spend it here. So let's build food processing down here. Uh, we can't. Hold on. We can build it over here. Yeah, nothing. Nothing like living next to a food processor. That, that's nice. That's real nice. And then, oh, every day is divided into working shift, free time, and rest time. So I mentioned that earlier. Little tips there. Okay, so now that we've got that, we need more gold, so we're gonna demolish. Demolish, demolish, demolish. So, this is, like I said, it's gonna help us turn food into, or, or wheat into food. And then the next thing we need to do is the alcohol. And it's funny, I'm, I'm putting all the industry with the, the workers, because one, they're the ones that has to, they have to go to it, right? They live, they, they, they're the ones who have to work in it. Um, so it makes sense that they be closer to it. Now, having houses right next to a factory, not the ideal situation, but space is limited, okay? So they're gonna have to deal with it. Right now, ooh, we need to build more homes, okay. So this is good, this is gonna up our, up our stuff. So, let's get another wood house. And we also need to make sure the nobles have their homes as well. So you can see as we play this game, the the balance in the game. Now we are playing on easy, so nothing too crazy has happened. Our population is 76. That's good. Uh, we do need to focus on the hospital soon. So if we go to medicine, you can see we can build a hospital, but we need more money. So we need to demolish more buildings to get that money up. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Not enough workers in the city? Oh, no. I've never encountered this. Okay. Not enough workers, huh? Looks like there's some workers here. Oh, six out of ten. What's this? Not enough gold? Oh, no. <laughs> This is not good. Okay, we need to demolish more buildings. Demolish more buildings. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, we need to figure out a way to make more money. What is this? Suffered losses, oh my goodness. We need to get our population up. Yeah, we're starting, to oh, here we go. We uh, want to build. We want to build our hospital as soon as possible. That's just so important. We'll build it over here. There we go. Voila! Hospital is built. But everybody's happy. We just need more more population. Oh, let's see. Ooh, tax rate. We could increase the tax rate. Ooh, high. Happiness per hour minus two. We'll we'll keep it we'll keep it at me. Oh, there's a stock market. Oh, very cool. Build stock market to unlock resource exchange. Oh, we kind of need that for gold. Uh, now the way we unlock new buildings is well, we need to get tech. Now we can't do anything about that right now because. Uh, we have to build a like a school to do research um, And to do that we we go into laws and we go into education But I think the next thing we need to build is ritual service That's where we can build graveyards and stuff because if you don't have a proper place to bury the dead a disease could spread uh, very quickly um, I guess we can demolish this This will get us some grain yeah, we're still negative in gold, so hopefully our, our really we need our population to increase. That's that's a big one there. All right, this hospital's almost done. 
hospital is built fantastic uh, we still have some homeless here uh, homeless rich people <laughs> that's weird this is just funny it's just ironic I guess um, no, this, okay, so as we go, we're starting to see sad and depressed workers. Doesn't look like anyone's really sad or depressed. That's good. Um, that's something we have to worry about. That Basically, what they need is more entertainment. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Gold is not negative anymore. Okay. That's pretty good. Keep demolishing these houses, though. Oh, yeah, the workers are brown. As in, like, they, they're wearing brown clothes. Uh, so it e it helps you easily to identify identify them. We're still dang. T new residents arrive in the city every day at seven. Okay, well we need we need new residents. Okay, there we go. Are, is how's our food's good? Grain's good. Alcohol's good. Everything is looking good. Um. Grain's coming in. Hey, we're making gold now. We're making gold now. So we can buy grain. That's perfect. So I think, I really think the next thing we need to do here is we definitely, definitely need to um, get the graveyard going. And then right after the graveyard. Okay, come on. There we go. Laws ready to go. So we need to get the ritual service. I think that's going to be absolutely vital. We should ensure proper funerals for the deceased. It's important to bury the dead, but the living aren't any less important. Yes, yes, I know, workers. I know. Uh, they seem to both like that, you know. And we'll we'll put it kind of far away. Let's see. Um, graveyard. Here we go. We can put this. Uh. Uh. We, okay. The reason I don't necessarily want to put it away because we have to build, like, put it far away is because we have to build roads here. I know. We're going to connect you. And boom. So it's connected. Um, that, that stings, but it is what it is. Um, is there anything else? Oh, a funeral service. Um, I guess it's kind of weird to... <laughs> we'll put that, we'll put that next to the hospital, I, I guess. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of messed up. I don't know. I don't know. It's like you're sick and you're like, well, hopefully I don't end up there. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, that's kind of, all right. Let's, um, let's see. Hungry, starving. Uh oh, looks like some people are getting hungry. Um, that really shouldn't be a problem. It's not a big deal. Everyone's still very health. I'm just an excellent city manager. That's all. That's all it is. You know, look at us. We're making money. Okay. Panic mode. Panic mode is over. Oh, by the way, guys, another thing I forgot to mention about the railroad. When the train comes, it uses wood. So it takes away a little bit of your wood because it's like it's it's coal, right? It's it's turning the wood into coal and which function, you know, makes the train functions. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh this is cool. You'll get like extra little events that happen and you can you can sometimes like re like when I was playing there's one event where a upper class hit his wife and a worker stood up for his wife and I had to punish either the guy who hit his wife or the person who stood up stood up for the guy's wife I <laughs> now the the decision I made was to punish the worker because <sighs> at the time the higher class were kind of upset at me so see what i mean by like the decisions you have to make okay so deliver grain to the customer 200 reward uh 200 beer um sure we can do that right away here there we go now we're maxed out on alcohol yay okay do we have oh, okay 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 we have a starving starving population now to fix that all we can do is build another food station. We can build it on the other end of the... Here, we'll build it over here. More food for you guys. And we just... Are 13 new citizens. And then we've got... Dep nobody's depressed, right? Nobody's depressed. Alright, nobody's starving anymore. We do have some homeless. So we need to go back and keep building some cottages. 
We'll, we'll... Oh, new residents arrive in the city every day. You must develop the economy to keep up with the needs of the growing population. Oh, yes. That's when things get very, very challenging. Okay. Um, we're going to expand the road here a little bit so we can um, build more homes and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, we don't have enough money for that. I'm just spending the gold like it just grows on trees. But it doesn't. It doesn't. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Okay, I don't think... Uh-oh. It's not good. It's not good. Um... I don't think we have any homes we can demolish. Any of this gives us money? This gives us food. You will receive... You will receive gold, yes. I want gold. Yeah, uh, we're negative 56 in gold. And our population isn't big enough. You know what? Demolish. Demolish. I think I panicked there a little bit. I don't think we need that. Because I think this costs upkeep, right? Here we go. So that helped a little bit. We're still... We're still... Oh, there we go. Plus... We're having moments of... Oh, dude. This is not good. This is not good. Um, I hate to say this, but... We might have to tax the wealthy here. Are we making money? Spent today. Mm, okay, there we go. Plus 90. Plus 90. Oh, but it goes away so quickly. Yeah, what? Not enough gold? Oh, no. Okay. Let's... What happens if we pause? Okay, there we go. That helps a little bit. So we're going to pause production. That might cause some issues there, but that's going to get our economy back to a stronger stronger point because once again, we have workers that are homeless. We don't have any gold, so I want to make sure they have homes, but at the same time, second shift. Factories can work during the night. Adopt the second shift act to unlock the... Uh, however, act activating a second shift will consume gold and reduce workers' happiness. I don't know if we want to do that. I don't know if we want to do that. So, let's put another house here. They definitely need another house. <clears throat> Costs 300 gold. And um, it's good, you know, for everyone to have a home. Um... This is closed. So, oof, jeez. Hospitals are expensive. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, no, it's on fire! Help! Oh, great. Oh, my goodness. Not good. Not good. Um... First, I, I make them quit their jobs. Now their house is on fire. Hey, can we... Do I need a fire department or something? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hopefully... Oh, that sucks. Alright, let's resume this. Okay, nobody's starving or hungry, right? So we're resuming the food production because we have a lot of wheat. We're running out of wood, though. We're, we're going to resume this, too. We have plenty of alcohol, so I'm going to keep that paused. Are you... I don't know what to do here. This is my first time encountering a fire. Uh, it, okay, hold on. Hold on. We have a new law here. I might be able to enact... Okay. Do we have fire department? Uh, fire department. We have police, which you can have secret service, the penile system. I don't see anything about fire department. So we're going to go to education. 
Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get an education thing going because with the education, if we go to administration, the economy, the economy will have it so we can um we can uh, research new buildings that are greatly gonna help us out. Can can someone like there's water right here? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, we got to repair it. Ah, that sucks. I mean, it's it is their home. We still need to build another cottage. Man, this is not easy. <laughs> this is not easy. All right, can we build a cottage cottage now? There we go. There's another cottage. All right, let's fast forward here. Let's repair this building but hey so far we're keeping everyone happy at a cost though right there we go more grain but we don't even need the grain and what do we need to build the Academy we need 900 gold which we are about to hit right now and we will build the Academy Right there. Alright, let's slow it down. Now we're making negative... Oh, nice. The academy is open. It's gonna... Okay, cool. We don't have, have anybody working there, though. Our population is at 105, so we've grown quite a bit. Once again, we have no money. <sighs> okay, we're gonna pause this again. I hate to do it. I hate to do it. But we need the money. And... Jeez, we just don't have any gold. We're gonna just collect our wood by getting these stacks of wood. For now. Oof. I, I, I'm curious. How do we get the stock exchange? Because if we could do the stock exchange... That would help us a ton. See, we got the pharmacy, innovations. Do we see anything? Stock exchange. I feel like it's going to be one of those things where it's like much later in the game. This is all production. This would help us steelworks, brickyard. I mean, this is going to help us in the long run. Okay, is everybody happy here? Happy, happy, happy. Are the workers are still working on every yeah everybody everything's doing fine it's just money we just need money okay you know what this sucks but we're gonna pause we're gonna pause this to make more money and I don't want to pause the hospital I really don't we're gonna pause this too <laughs> Oh my goodness. We're going to pause the food too. Once again, we have to pause everything. The palace doesn't pause though. We got to keep these open. And it looks like we got three workers still homeless. Okay. Looking at the health. Just checking on the workers, making sure they're happy. We're still making negative. We're still making negative. Let's fast forward it a little bit. There we go. It's it's going back up to positive. But not really. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now it's positive. That's tough. Okay. Do normal speed here. We have a new law. We got the education. We've got... I mean, honestly... Let's see. What about this? Marketplace earns different resources every day at the end of the day of the working shift. Uh, after signing this act, the act can be signed. Okay, uh, let's do the market trade. Uh, I'm hoping this will help us generate more gold. So, if that's the case, market trade act signed, work shift has ended. So, with this working trade shift, oh, a marketplace. Produce different resource every day at the end of the work shift. I don't know what this does exactly. We're going to build it near the rich people because they... I don't know. Well, I think 
the rich people use it more than any anybody else, I think. Not enough storage space for grain. That's fine. Uh, food's still okay. As long as food's okay, the problem is we don't want to run out of food. <laughs> Obviously. So, I'm going to turn this back on. Just in case. Food is... Alcohol is one thing, but having no food, that's a whole nother thing. There we go. Nice. So, hopefully this generates us gold? Because I need it. Uh, and then let's go ahead and research, um, yes, a small warehouse. The small warehouse is so we can hold more grain. But again, everything costs money. When we build this, it could mean trouble. Could mean trouble. Oh, and we've got our first starving noble. <laughs> okay. So we, okay, let's see. We have to build um, another location for them to get food. Oh, what do we got here? Deliver wood to the customer. Reward to... No, we don't... No, we have enough food. Thank you. Thank you, though. So, yeah, let's build um, another one. Because there is a pretty long line here. I don't know, but... Do they need it? Nah. One starving, not a big deal. Not a big deal. I'm going to leave that be. I'm going to leave that. Now, if we're talking like 10 starving, then I will build another one. But for now, that's got to do. That's got to do. I think we're doing okay. We still have three workers that are homeless. We should probably take care of that. Do we make money off of homes? There we go. Let's build that home there, and then we're going to go to the cottage. And build that there. And that should deal with the homelessness. We should have no more homeless, which is actually truly pretty amazing. Not enough storage space for grain. Okay, well, that's going to change. Because we're going to go ahead and build... Wait, have we not unlocked it? I don't think we've unlocked it yet. Oh, that's because it's paused. Dang it. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> okay. So, we want more people in here. Because the more people we have, the more potential, like, money. More taxing. You know? There we go. More people have arrived. Public institutions for rich people have allowed visitors settings. Nobles only... Uh, and both classes. Visitor settings allow you to control the food and alcohol distribution among the nobles and... Oh! Visitor settings, huh? Okay. We'll worry about that later. Um, we should have a We should have people working in here. Come on. What do we got here? Oh, here we go. A stable man saw a noble hit his wife. Oh, yeah, this is what I was talking about. This is what I was talking about. Stood up for her. The situation ended in a brawl. Um, let's. I still think we should punish the stableman. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. The, yeah. I, it's okay. It's okay. That's fine. They they're still gonna love me. It, it, it's like none of your business, you know. If if she wants to marry an abusive guy, then uh, that's I shouldn't say that. That. I'm not going to reason with... Look, it's a game, okay? <laughs> it's a game, alright? And that's the... It's right now, I feel like... Whatever. It doesn't matter. At that point, it really didn't matter what I picked there. Are we seriously making negative food? Negative gold? <sighs> Once again, we're making negative gold. Okay. Can any of this... How's the research going? It's going. Just slowly. Okay. We have one homeless. One homeless worker. Is the town homeless? Okay, grain's starting to go by. 
Man, we're going negative again. Ugh. No food. Alright, pause. We're gonna pause the food production. And hopefully that helps us go positive again. And sure enough, it is. That is so tough. This is so tough. To try to manage all of this. This is brutal. Absolutely brutal. I mean, we got a, a cozy little town. There we go. Small warehouse. Whoa. Nice. Market trade ended. 1,304? Whoa. Market was great. I'm so glad we got the market. Now we should probably build police. Okay. So the research is done. The next thing is... Oof. Really expensive. So we're not even going to look at it. We don't have the gold right now, okay? But we should build a warehouse and with this warehouse we're going to be able to um gather more so let's just put it right there Oof, and that's going to increase our our grain uh capacity there is anybody going starving okay nobles are going star again 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 there must be a yep there's a line here uh, you know, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Let's go for it. We're gonna build a... Uh, oh. Oh, right, right, right. I'll, I'll show you that later. The warehouse is actually pretty cool what you can do with it. Let's demolish this for wood. How's our wood production's really bad, isn't it? Yeah, um... The warehouse you can set to... Um, focus on preserving like food, grain, wheat, or you can have it focus on materials like wood, stone, and steel. So, um, if you want to save both, you just got to build another warehouse. Okay, so let's go ahead and build another one of these buildings. I mean, it's not absolutely necessary because it does look like things are better. But the, the lines are getting a little long. Alright, we're going to try turning this back on again. We'll fast forward here a little bit. Uh, we are starting to run a little bit out of time in the game, or in today's video, so... I will fast forward and see, um... You know, what we can... Whoa, what's going on here? I feel sick! Somebody please call a doctor! There was a mass poisoning of visitors in one of the public institutions due to poor quality food. Poison people need urgent hospitalization. Make sure there's enough bed places in the hospital. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> That's not helping anybody. There's a, here's the poor one homeless guy. Feel bad for him. Feel bad for him. We could build him a home, but that costs money. Okay. <laughs> And money doesn't grow in trees, all right? Now, we're still positive gold. But... Only just. Uh, let's... Yeah, keep destroying these. This is grain. Grain is not the problem here. Wood is the problem. We'll get that wood going. Okay. So, a new day is coming. That means we're going to get new workers. Uh, let's get a pharmacy. Why not? Unlock the pharmacy. Happiness is fantastic. Now, with the police force... Uh, we need more wood. Yeah, we need, we need a police force. But unfortunately, guys, we are... Out of time. I think we're going to end it here. Hopefully this has given you a good look into the game. At least the very beginning of the game. You can see how difficult it is. Where you have many different situations. Uh, that's why I absolutely love this game. Because you have to manage the resources. You have to manage the money. You have to manage the population. The happiness. Which is still really good right now. But we're not super deep into the game. Like I've seen some crazy stuff in this game. Like crazy riots where they burn down buildings or just really you know really interesting like upper class dynamic as well so uh anyways guys thank you so so much for watching today don't forget 
to get or to, yeah to get the game look down in the video description there's a link to the game get it it's awesome uh, I'm definitely going to be playing this on my own time as well. I'll probably start a, pr uh, a private, like, uh, or not a private. It's weird to say private. I'm going to do a private pr playthrough. You know, I, I don't know. I'm going to do a playthrough play through on my own. Oh, my God. My population just... Oh, my goodness. My population. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys next time.